Welcome back. This is episode six of our Let's Play Poorly of Ulit. Uh, we are in Tibionis here. Uh, we are in the Zazedi Cluster, uh, heading north through this galaxy here. I don't know what's going on over there. I've never uh, actually been to one of these diamond uh, planets. That's probably interesting. Uh, maybe we can head over there at some point. One thing to note here is uh, we had been uh, going through the different tech levels and uh, we had been to a tech level 12 system and I was wondering how, uh, how high they go and I just had never checked. But it turns out tech level 15 is the highest. We can see over there on the right hand side. And good thing we know that because look here, Zazetti in the Zazetti cluster is a tech level 14 system. It is also a rich industrial, which uh, in the Stranger's World economy mod is called an extreme industrial system, which will be valuable to us because right now we're carrying some stuff that we could sell here for a tiny profit, but it's all uh, goods that were produced at an agricultural world, and therefore we're probably going to get a better profit if we head out to Zazetti. But for right now, we're looking here at Tibionis, which is a mainly agricultural section or sector. Uh, it's not going to really be very valuable for us for selling the stuff that we've got. And if I'm remembering right, yeah, we're completely loaded, so we don't really want to just spend it and buy stuff here. Although we could, it's just not really worth very much. Most of the differentials here are pretty low. Let's see, do we have anything interesting that we can buy right off the bat? We are in a tech level 8 demo uh, democracy, so uh, so we might be able to get a few things here that we haven't seen in a few other places but eh, it doesn't look like there's much that we really need right now uh, we do eventually want the comms log uh, maybe I'll get that now just just to get it off of my radar here get it off of my uh, my uh, bucket list as it were <clears throat> just grab that uh, ILS we don't really need some missile racks the rangefinder we don't really need yet. The manifest we don't really need. Combat MFD we are still not fighting anything, so uh, not at the moment. I don't have any weapons, so that wouldn't help us regardless. Independent escort license. It allows freelance pilots to enter into short-term contracts with NPC traders to escort and protect en route to the next system. I'm going to put a pin in that, come back to that later. Missile racks, heat shielding, that's for uh, solar insulation. So if we approach a, a sun, our cabin temperature goes up and we uh, can burn up and we don't want that. But we haven't really had any uh, need to go near a sun yet, a solar, uh, a solar body. So we're just going to uh, not bother at the moment with that. Gravity scanner, still need that, but that's going to be 10K and that's going to be down the line a little bit. Planetary information system. Gives system biographical and Galta cop safety data via the system's buoy communication array. Okay. Don't think we really need that. I imagine that we're getting that information by other means already. Uh, it's going to be a, a matter of immersion if we do get that down the road. Uh, so it, it might be worth it just, just for the sake of, of that, for completeness. The navigation MFD provides direct information from the hyperdrive system on top of providing ETA distance to and the name of your current space compass target. That'd be useful. Just just to have and to see what it does. Let's grab that. All right, so we're down to 900 cash. Uh, okay, fair enough. We'll be good. So we're going to be heading over now to Zazetti. We're going to save. We're going to head out. All right, so while we're just sort of floating around in space here, we're going to set up our uh, new MFDs. The comms log there is on the right-hand side below the telescope, which, as you can see, is new. Uh, the comms log is new. We didn't have that uh, set up before. That is uh, showing us all the comms that we've recently seen, uh, which is good because they don't fade like they do under the regular comms log. The regular comms log, if I can find my button for that, right there, it pops up and disappears pops up and disappears, pops up and disappears. That's not helpful. So the comms log keeps it up there all the time. The other thing that the comms log does is, let's see here if I can do this, go to the next, go to the next, go to the next. Uh, I think I think I could do something with this. 
Maybe not. Maybe it's here. Ah, there it is. It's the comms log MFD uh, in the primed equipment. You can see down in the left-hand side of the Vamana HUD. I have the ability to go up. And then, uh oh, where? Oh, come on! I hit the wrong buttons. Scroll forward mode, and then scroll down. So I can actually go back in my comms log uh, and do some other things. Scroll back mode, scroll forward mode, scroll to previous launch. Oh, okay. So it'll show me the comms from uh, this back, the last batch of comms that I got from the last time I was uh, in a station. Uh, scroll to the next launch. That kind of is basically it's a page up, page down kind of thing. View the current, that brings me all back to the beginning, or back to the, my, my current uh, comm, and then the view oldest, and then clear log mode. View write comms to latest, to la lastest log, I don't know what that means. Switch to line scrolling, scroll back mode. Okay, so we're good there. Don't really need to do anything else with that, but that is just something fun to have up there on the screen, so we don't have to scramble to keep uh, looking at our comms if there's any reason to do so. Uh, the other thing we need to do now is we need to cycle through to display wait, okay so display number one is there two is there three is blank and four is comms log because they kind of go left right left right so we want to go oh i don't want to do that i almost accidentally prepped a missile i uh, don't want to do that so we're going to go to comms uh, to multifunction display number three and then we're going to cycle through them so that's the present system there we go that's the nav navigation mfd that's the one we were looking at uh with the second one we bought that tells us what our present system is, target system, distance, time, uh, and the hyperdrive status is ready. The space compass, uh, dock request main station, uh, and so dock request. I think dock request means if we can, if we use, if, if we're targeting a main station in the space compass, then it means okay, we can do request docking. Uh, and then that's the distance. And then the estimated travel time is unknown because uh, that's not using the uh, which drive; it is in system. So if I switch out my, if I move around in my uh, space compass, that changes the space compass information there in the navigation MFD, and gives me travel times. Oh, I guess I guess it's not so much for the. Uh, I guess if that estimated travel time is really low, it's just because we're like right there next to the thing. That's probably the case. Wallace is perdition. Mm, interesting rock hermits. Uh, and then there's a planet. Okay, so one of the things I want to do here, maybe... No, I don't want to do it here because I could go to Rock Hermit here, but if there's something valuable to buy, I won't have any cargo space, so it's not going to do me any good. So what we're going to do instead is we are just going to go to Zazetti, the TL-14 system uh, that is next on our list. That will be a... Uh, oh, that's interesting. The nav, the nav MFD is showing us what type it is. It is a rich industrial, and it's showing uh, that it's a, what is that, a confederacy, I believe? I be yes, that's, I believe that's confederacy. Multi-government is the smaller circles. Confederacy is the overlapping uh, Venn diagram type circles. Oh my, that is a very bright sun. Don't like that. Okay, so we're going to go this way, and then we can go into... Ah! There we go. Go into Taurus Drive. And now we are looking for... Oh, so here we can use the ASC to, autom to immediately target the station. Oh, there we go. Target the station so we don't have to go hunting for it, but it's right there. I mean, we kind of know it's right there because we have that buoy. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's not that far away. Our, the witch space drive brought us in really close to it. It's only 200 or 300 kilometers away. But it's not the standard kind of station, it looks like. Uh, we're going, going doing this now so we can just get back into green. If we can get back into green, please. I would like to get back into green. Thank you. Uh, we're just getting farther away from the thing. Uh, never mind. Damn, that's bright. Notice, however, that that station, it's right there under the uh, nav MFD. That's a different kind of station. We've not seen a ring station so far. This is the first ring station we've come across. That is pretty cool. If we ever get there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Now we can now we can go into Taurus Drive. Oh, come on. All right.
right, so I'm excited about this because I've never actually seen a ring station in this playthrough. I've, I've been to ring stations before in other playthroughs, but never never in this one. Uh, there's the there's the casino. We should go to the casino, too, because uh, we haven't been to one of those yet. Oh, boy, there's so much stuff out here, and I just, I just didn't prep myself to get out of the space lanes, so we're just kind of stuck doing this for a minute. That's all right. Still, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, we're still getting farther away, so now we can do that. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the telescope isn't correctly set up. Steering off, light balls. Yeah, I think it got defaulted again back to ships. And I want to do mass lock borders. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And there's the Zazetti station. Look at that thing. That's cool. It's not as pretty as the uh, as the icosahedral stations. Part of it is because the textures are different. Uh, not not quite as uh, impressive in terms of the textures. Uh, but I believe that this the fact that it's a ring rather than an icosahedron is due to one of the OXPs, one of the mods. I don't know for sure, uh, but I, I wouldn't be surprised because it's the idea is that it's changing things around a little bit based on the tech level and things like that, so you, you have a slightly more unique feel to the various uh, systems. The cheetah in orange. Interesting. Okay. That's one thing I want to do. I just think I was thinking about this earlier today. It would be really nice if I could uh, buy a new ship, uh, but of course that would mean having probably to deal with all the equipment again, but, and we don't really have the money. Look at that thing! It is so cool looking! I love it. Alright, let's ask for entrance. Okay! Hey, permission granted. Look at that. Now, the nice thing about this station is there's no mail slot. We don't have to adjust our rotation. And notice it's actually rotating the opposite direction from the uh, the other kinds. See, I know we could do this, but we don't have to. Because these guys built it smart. You can just kind of go right down in there without worrying about the rotation of your ship. I guess it's because it's a high-tech level. All right. Zazetti arrival report. The docking port is bustling and the traffic control kept busy, though not too busy for you to get a flirtatious compliment, honest or not, on your piloting skills as you edge the craft onto a landing pad. An automated link uploads commodity prices, shipyard offers, and the menus of station restaurants into your computer while deducting the seven-credit station fee. Okay. That seems like... A good place to be right now. Okay, so we are down to 870.8 in cash. We're still fully loaded. Now let's see what we can do for sale for selling. All right, yeah. So this is much better, much better differentials here. So medicine, liquor and wines, and textiles. Now we're back up to 2362. All right, so we're gonna save. Now let's take a look at our commodities here. So because this is a rich industrial, it's gonna have uh, probably better prices for all of the finished goods. Because it's a tech level 14, I think that probably does impact computer prices, maybe, or just the number of computers that are available. I don't know for sure. Again, I'm not trying to min-max here. I don't like knowing all of the technical details of the way the game is made. I am more interested in fluidly learning over time based on the game world that I'm in. And also because I'm lazy, I don't end up paying too much attention to it. So that's just why, that's why we end up playing poorly that's just that's just how that goes um, but over here we're looking here okay so yeah uh, there's a lot of computers available a lot of alloys too uh, and a uh, whole mess of machinery all right and those differentials are pretty decent um, so we'll probably get some of that uh, but the first thing I want to do you know what I don't want to do this yet because I do want to go check out one of the rock hermits I do want to go see if there's some fun things over there that we can look at if there's some rock hermits. Uh, we probably won't have anything valuable to buy there. I, I don't know for sure. Uh, you know, you might get alloys and minerals and or whatever those things. Yeah, the minerals and things like that. Um, but of course, uh, the values might be different and or might not be worthwhile. But if we've got minerals here, it's at plus 10.6% differential off of galactic average, which is just absolutely atrocious because the average is 12. Price here is 13.3. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be good. It's not. It's not something we want to buy. 
but we might be able to buy something at a rock hermit if the minerals are lower and then come back here and just sell it and just like, do a little quick profiting um, but we'll see so uh, let us then get out of here all right so let's see do we have a rock hermit out here let's find out maybe the uh, space compass will tell us there's a surf there's a repair facility which point surf the casino oh right the casino we do want to go to the casino there's a con store I've never been to one of those there's K K K don't know what you are but that's alright there's another K there's the Zeddy the planet there's another planet there's the Zeddy prime planet that's the that's that's the dominant planet that essentially generates the the type of system it is which actually we should probably look at here we are, rich industrial confederacy with a tech level of 14, 5.8 billion large green frogs. Awesome. Uh, average radius 5,600. The center of the Zazeti cluster and the western part of Galaxy 1. This planet houses a city that covers the entire globe. A city full of large green frogs. That's uh, both frightening but also kind of cute. Zazeti's high tech level is demonstrated by its futuristic towers, domes, habitats, and planetary, tra planetary transport systems. Ucruz, the Zorgon Pedersen Group, and the famous beauty corporation L'Oreal have their HQ here. Zazetti is best known for the Zazetti Sky Needle, a skyscraper two kilometers high. Tax level 10%, treasury is 312 million credits, and the planet Zazetti orbits a G7.55 star. Okay, so back to here. So that's Zazetti Prime. There's another K, there's the star. That's what whatever it is we're targeting. More K. Got to figure out what that stuff is. And there's the station. Okay, so we don't see a rock hermit around here. That's fine. Uh, we still have some fun things to look at. Let's. Um, okay, let's take them by order. Let's go to the surf first, and let's see what's in the surf. What's at the surf? There's the surf. Okay. So to get out there which is about a thousand kilometers out, we are definitely going to need our injectors on. But there's just so much stuff out here. So many things flying around. I don't really know. It's going to be a minute before we can actually get out there. So let's just, let's just do it this way. Let's just keep going towards it. And maybe we'll just fly past things. Uh, far enough to, to be able to, to turn on the injectors. Okay, there we go. All right. So we can see there's a ship over there. There's another ship over there. We just oh, I, I, that was a mistake of mine. I got too close to the mass lock bubble. All right. Let's get out of the way of that. Okay. What is that over there? So which point beacon? Okay. That's probably a ship coming up there. All right. So repairs facility. Okay. So I wonder if this is a place that we could have gone to repair our ship earlier and not use the emergency repairs, which I feel like was a little bit of a scam. It kept asking me for money, even though my ship was repaired. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. That thing is cool. Look at that. Oh, and then there's the surf sh system shovel. Sh system shovel. Yes, it was the system shovel is what that is. Yes, system shuttle. All right. Uh, let's go closer here. Do we need docking permission? Uh, Q position two. Okay. Next question is, how the hell do we get in there? Where's the entrance? Is it prob It's probably on the other side. What is that? What are those? Oh, those are ships. I think. Maybe there are ships waiting to be repaired? Oh shoot, I've got... Uh, how do I get it? How do I get in? How do I get in? How do I get in? Is it through here? Yes! Oh, look at me being smart. Alright. That is... That is cool. I that's, That is some retro futurism right there. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna be positive today. The last episode, we were super positive because super things happened to us. All right. Welcome, Commander. A docking charge of seven credits has been deducted. Please enjoy your stay in Zazetti. Okay. 
Let's save and see what's available here. All right, so, oh wow, slaves are here. Five tons of slaves. And it looks like they are not illegal here. All right, that's a little sketchy. Firearms too. Alien items, what in the ever living, what? All right, all right, I gotta figure this out. Okay, if we hit the market button again, it'll get Navy engineer, engineers, that's not spelled correctly. Navy engineers and scientists are really interested in these items. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean if we buy them, we can sell them at the main station? Or are there other places that want this? I mean, this is a tech level 14 system, so there are probably engineers and scientists around. The price is pretty good. We'd only be loading it up with, four, with 17. I think I'm gonna buy these just because, I mean, the differential is not amazing. It's 18.5%. That's okay. Um, but this is just cool. Uh, it's cool. I, I like cool things. There we go. 16.50 in cash. All right. That's what's left. Not not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Um, what is next? Okay. So let's go and uh, save because I save scum. Let's go see what's available to buy. You know, no, no, no. First, first things first, I'm going to be a smart dude and I'm going to check my emails like I never do. We purchased some equipment. What did we buy before? That was the oh yeah, it was the Kloms log. I have the I have the memory of a gnat. Uh, and then the navigation MFD. Okay. So let's see here. I could disembark and do some things on the on the station. Um, don't really feel the need to do that just yet. What is this commander's log? I I don't think I've ever looked at this before. Interesting. Uh, oh, I can reset the log. Oh, that's right. And then the comms MFD can output to, oh, that's right, the last time it was lastest, to output to lastest log. Okay, so we could output this to a, a log file if we wanted to. Uh, it would give us like a bit of a, a diary of what happened. So we could reset it or we could exit. So we're just gonna exit, uh, maybe figure out what to do with that later. Com log, oh, wow. Okay, so this definitely got added by the comms MFD. So this is our whole log and we could write the comms to the latest log clear the log and do all the things. Um, the current MMT is currently in active mode. Excellent. So that basically allows us to configure things and, and, and do a few other things in, uh, in stations. That's great. In system distances. What does that do? Okay, here we go. Okay. So some beacons. Okay. This is useful. So the star, then the three planets, and then the beacons for the Constor buoy, the witch space beacon, KH, KHS 4R, which, uh, is the ring station that we first, uh, went to. And that's where the main station buoy is. I think that's what KHS 4R was. Then there's the Coach Whip Hoopy Casino, which is right next to that. So that's why the uh, the distance is pretty much the same. And then two other things. I guess those might be stations as well. I'm not sure. All right. There's our flight log. What is the flight log? Last 10 system visited. Okay, okay. I like that. The news network. We haven't watched the news in a little while. Let's watch some news. Oh, that thing's ugly. Herbert Herbert Otha. A new outbreak of disease has been reported in Alaza, leading officials from the Galactic Center for Disease Control to send out a request for new strains of antibiotics developed to high-tech worlds to be delivered as quickly as possible. The disease mutates quickly, rendering current antibiotics useless, the official stated. The same official refused to answer when asked if there was any chance the disease could spread off-world. Galcop has confirmed that Alaza has been placed in quarantine, restricting traffic into and out of the system until such time as the outbreak can be brought under control. Okay, Bloom, Bloomberg markets, markets. Gex Index, the Galegius Prospecting Company, the premier mining corporation in Galegius, has announced the discovery of a new source of precious stones after a long period of intensive exploration. With initial reports suggesting the presence of sapphires and rubies, the news has caused a drop in the value of gemstones on the commercial market. Ah, okay, so that's probably affecting the uh, the market a bit. Escobar. Isenor just allied with Bimera. Okay, Commander Diziet Sma, currently aboard the Black Widow Pit Viper SE, famously said, The neatest definition of diplom diplomacy I've ever seen is the art of saying nice doggy while you reach behind your behind you for a rock to throw. That's awful. 
And Kutiri just allied with Bimera. What was the other one? Whoopsies. That was not intentional. That was basically the same message, though, uh, but with two different systems. Or one different system. Now, Cessla has just allied with Bimera. Oh, wow. Bimera is getting a lot of love these days. And it's the same message otherwise. And Ontiat. Wow. I wonder if this has any impact on anything. It would be really cool if it did. Huha Noctua. That guy looks great. That's probably one of those heron dudes, but he's Snow White. Okay. Traffic in the Tibinitian area has increased the past few months despite the recent frequent earthquakes. The noted UPS shares rose again by nine points after publishing news that document transports have increased in the past quarter. A significant contribution to the increased traffic is due to our fabled UPS pilot. That's probably not me. It would be nice if that was me, but I've only done the one. So I'm not that I'm I'm not that well known. Yeah. Oh, and then this is our list of primable equipment. All right. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, there's a fast first act, first fast activation, and second fast activation. Where basically, if you have a whole lot of uh, primable equipment, you can set up two of them as presets to just be automatically switched to if you hit that button. I don't have those assigned. I don't have enough of those systems right now to really make it uh, matter that much. Uh, and then, yeah, we got ship comparisons. Oh, we, you could do ship ship comparisons, which we might get to do around the time that we're looking to buy a new ship. Uh, telescope options is something that's that got added recently to the OXP, to the expansion. Uh, I downloaded a beta of that based on some recommendations on the forum. Uh, and then this uh, tells us what we can do with the telescope. So auto scan is on, maximum distance for target detection, size of the auto lock detection cone. Uh, so that as we're sweeping across, those get auto locked. That is how close we have to be to the actual target in our HUD, uh, it, uh, close to the reticle before it auto locks. Size of the gravity scanner detection cone, which we don't have right now. We don't have the gravity scanner, so it doesn't matter. Uh, size of the manual ident key detection cone. Suspension time and computer targeting. Hostile ships remain red past scanner range. is turned off. Max targets. Max number of targets monitored. Uh, we could switch that up or down if we needed to. Maximum distance to show lollipops in red alert. The lollipops are what I was calling the pips and the and the pins, I think. that's They're just called lollipops in the game. Auto steering. Uh, I had that turned off, but I could turn it on. Turn the light bulbs on or off. Ship light balls on or off. Light ball size vary with distance. Hmm, maybe I'll turn that on. See what happens with that. Minimum distance to show light ball markers. Minimum distance to show ship light ball markers. Okay. Colored circles for ships and planets. Uh, yeah? Isn't, I, have I seen them? I guess, oh yeah, they were colored, yes. Okay. And uh, where were we? Okay, and then here, uh, set which views of the mass lock rings are displayed. Uh, oh, I guess that's forward, left, right, back. Yeah. Uh, brighter mass lock borders. We have that turned off. We don't really need it. Select from five sniper ring sizes. Again, I don't really know what that is or what the sniper ring is. I have a feeling it has to do with the sniper weapons, which are part of an expansion. And might there might be some default ones. I'm not sure. Show 3D close-up view of target. Uh, that one has uh, always on or when weapons are offline, uh, reset to factory defaults. So uh, we don't really, I don't find that interesting. So we turn that off. Okay, exit discarding change. Oh, did I discard the changes? Yeah, that was dumb. I didn't mean to do that because I do want the large light balls. See how that works, okay. As you are not using autosave, it will be lost if you do not save before departure. Okay, acknowledged. Okay, so we're going to save, because that's what I do. All right, we're not buying anything here. We're going to go straight back to the other station and see if we can sell these alien thingamajiggies. Ooh, there's some ships right up, right up here. Okay, look at that. There's that guy. There's that guy. The Brute in Love. Creature of Dizanair. Oh, wow, there's a lot of these guys out here. 
All right. Well, well let's go. Uh, let's go switch our ASC, our, our uh, compass, over to the station. Okay. There we go. It's over that way. Oh God! It's so bright. All right. Got to get away from all these ships first. There's a whole lot of ships flying around that surf. Alright, now we can go. 3x Taurus. Oh, wow. Maybe I do need that glare filter. Wow. Let's get uh, let's eclipse the sun here a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. I don't think it actually does properly eclipse. Oh, there we go. Now it properly eclipses. Okay. Ooh, let's get out of there. Let's go. Oh, jeez. I uh, missed it. Missed it. See, that's what this... I love the telescope mass lock beat a little ball thing, these light balls or whatever they're called. Oh, the light balls. Oh, that's what it, the light ball, ah, uh, mass lock light ball. Okay. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I may be wrong about that. Uh, it says something about them getting bigger, but they call them light balls. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. These are the light balls, I think. I don't think the mass lock bubbles are the same thing. I should probably ask somebody. I'm sure somebody out there knows the answer to that question. I'm just too lazy to find out. There are a lot of ships around here. Maybe it's a convention. Alright. Let's go and take a look at that. And traffic control. Please hold for clearance. And you can see there, there in the comms log, it, it will continue to tell us. Like, I mean, it will actually show what they just told us, so we don't have to keep spamming the comm log. Oh, and now it wants me to be on the ah, this stupid thing again with the buoy. I swear I had this figured out at one point. All right, we're going to go onto the little uh, landing lights, and then we're going to get closer to the station. going on why is it telling me to do that I did that every time I do it every time I do it every time and I'm never in the right spot all right let's let's uh the eye sees you oh okay revival of the crate subscribe now what spaceship save 30 percent okay uh oh significant pirate activity has re been reported in this system that's no good you are here. Oh. Balfour Booty. Building the spaceways of tomorrow. You are number three in the queue. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have docking clearance. Wow. Some people must have been going in there pretty fast or coming out. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. And again, we don't have to uh, rotate, so we're just going to let ourselves do the thing. Please proceed. Can I go any faster? This one's not asking me. Ah, now it is. Now it is. Okay. Go to 140. Yeah, this station's cool looking. I mean, the textures could be better. It could it could use with a higher res. It could use a higher res texture pack for this. I don't think there is one, um, but I would love to see one that because these this station in particular. I mean, the, the icosahedron stations are really gorgeous, but just, just in concept or anything like that. But, but I think that this, if this could be made to look really nice, I think that would just be just, ah, oh, the bee's knees. Okay, here we go. Cross your fingers, maybe we can sell something. Uh, several very fancy in-system vessels are docked here. Possibly a convention is being hosted at the station. Isn't that what I said? I swear that wasn't planned. Uh, the landing attendants efficiently begin maintenance protocols on your ship as your registry is scanned and the seven landing charge deducted. Seven credit landing charge. Okay. Oh, this is the collector guy again. Uh, hey, bub, where's this collector? Because uh, I still can't afford to do anything with him. Can I sell the alien thing? <gasps> I can! At a plus 48% differential, making almost double. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so that that was worth it. 
just for the giggles of it. Now we're going to go to the next one on the list, which is the con story. That, I think, that blue, that little blue bubble that was expanding there, I think that's an explosion or some kind of a weapon or something. I do know, all I know about it is that at one point I flew near one and then I died. This was in a couple of play playthroughs ago when I was first starting the, the game. It, it, there was one that showed up on my radar or something. It was just like near me or behind me. And I was like, oh, what's that? And I flew close to it and then it just straight up slaughtered me. So either it was like a shockwave or something or, or it was some kind of a weapon. I don't know. Again, I could probably ask and I probably won't. All right, let's go to the casino. That one's not too far away. This, oh, okay, all right. So if we look over there on the navigation uh, MFD, it says Space Compass is targeting the casino and dock is free, which means we do not need clearance. So we won't bother getting clearance. The other ones did require clearance, the surf and the main station. Now, how do I get in here? I think that's it, right there. I'm, I'm glad I saved, because I could be wrong. It looks like an anus. I feel like this is not the right way in. I don't think this is it. I think this might go badly. Yep. Game over. Yep. Look at me just ramming into the thing. Oh! There's the entrance! <sighs> well, luckily I saved, because that's what I do. So I pressed space, and then we just gotta wait for it to reload. It'll reload where I was. At least it should. There we go, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, lesson learned. All right, now, let's try this again correctly. Let's go to the casino. Oh, and this time it's oriented that way. It's, it's oriented with the entrance visible to us here. Again, because these, I think these are, I think these get, um, I think the systems get procedurally rendered every time you leave a station. Maybe. Although I think I've seen some persistent Thargoids in an earlier issue, but that, uh, an earlier playthrough, but that may have just because of, been because of that glitch that kept spawning Thargoids all over the place. That's cool. Look at that casino. I like that logo up there. That is well done. That is very well done. The rest of the, the rest of the station looks a little keep. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's not visually interesting, but the the docking port, the, the, the mail slot, and the casino sign, the it's very, it's very Las Vegas. I like that bit. I like that a lot. And since we are free to dock, there's no uh, docking clearance required. We're just going to go on in. And also, again, no rotation required. This thing doesn't rotate at all. I could probably go faster. All right. We're gonna do some do some hoopy. All right, casino cover charge of fourteen will be charged to my account. Please enjoy our gaming tables and luxurious buffet, and have a complimentary drink of fabulous brew. Oh God, this is the collector thing again. We, yeah, but he, yeah, no, no thanks. Okay, so gonna say nope. I can't save here. <gasps> that makes sense, actually. And that actually makes sense. That's pretty smart because it's a casino. Because it's a casino, they don't want you save scumming your winnings. All right, I like that. Okay, all right. I, I ain't mad. Okay, so they don't have anything in the market because they're a casino. That also is very reasonable. And they do sell some stuff, but not very much. Even though this is a tech level 14, they just have a few minor things. Escort deck. They have a broadcast comms, MFD. And then a few other of these other things. Um, so uh, that's fine. So let's see what they have here. 
specialty cargo trading. Oh yes, yeah, so this is one of those OXPs that we can do specialty cargo. There's like a hundred different um, goods that could be traded, which I think we can see this at most stations. But here, uh, there's no special cargo here again because it's uh, it's the uh, it's a casino. It's not it's not the thing that they do. Uh, but gather trade route information. Hmm. Oh, fun. Okay, so there's a whole. This not it's it's not just a simple list of of things that you can buy when you can buy them. Here it actually shows you some information. Major exports, budget to budget tourists. <laughs> That's weird. Um, okay. Oh, and frog slaves. Mm, frog slaves. No thanks. Okay. Gossip in the trade. Oh gosh. Okay, this is just blowing my mind. The level of immersion here just has ratcheted up to nine at this point. I mean, it was like at seven before for me. Okay. Last I heard, they were playing to do the Zier to Bivia run. There's a good market for edible arthropoid from another galaxy in Rexibi. I hear Arirvi is looking for factory equipment right now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Snakeskin, good prices on the Spaceway L1. The casino always needs more random numbers and drinks. All right. All right. All right. I'm all in on this. Okay. Exiting that, going back into here, the dockside services. System history, all the notable events in the system history. So, okay, so they've allied with those things. Okay, all right. So here are the here's here's the here's the stuff that we can do gambling wise. We can do blackjack, we can do hoops, hoopy hold'em, smugglers run, and video poker. And then everything else here is about the same. Galcop security kiosk. Oh, bounties. No outstanding offenses have been registered in the current galactic sector. Well, intergalactic bounties. None have been registered. Most wanted list. How have I never been here before and or seen any of these before? I think it's because I'm a terrible player and I've been just sort of going back and forth between stations and buying and selling not trying to do anything interesting. Well, damn it, we're gonna do some interesting things now. This is cool. View location of Galcop HQ in this sector. Okay, so it's uh, it's down there in the lower left quadrant. So we may need to go down there at some point uh, for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what we would do there, like what it's for. Maybe that's where we turn the bounties? Or maybe we can collect the bounty, like collect the list of bounties there, I don't know. All right, oh gosh. I love this game so much. All right, let's do some blackjack. Okay, place your bet and play. Keep drawing cards and try to get, well, I mean, it's blackjack. Try to get closer to a sum of 21 than the dealer. Don't go over or you lose. 52 card deck, aces count as one or 11, face cards, cards count as 10. Blackjack, 21, with first two cards, pays three to two, win pays one to one, push pays the bet back. Black deck, blackjack tie is a push, Dealer stands on 17, including soft 17. Not sure what a soft 17 is, but all right. Double the bet as a first choice of a hand. Doubling down deals only one card. Split same value cards, including aces, up to four hands. Splitting costs the bet. Doubling down is allowed on split hands. Hitting split aces is allowed. Surrender as a first choice and get half your bet back. Dealer blackjack wins surrender. Okay. All right. Let's do some of this. It's going to bet 10. Okay, this is some quality content here. Player hand is 13. Oh, wow, they've even got the graphics. Like, they, I thought that other one was just a one thing, one and done. But now we're actually seeing the cards. All right. Player hand is 13. I have 13. He's got a three and a closed card, and a, and a face down card. So do I take a card? I think I'm going to hit. My hand is 17. Okay, I'm going to stand. And I lose. Ugh. Oh, check that out. That is the station on the seven card. This is my mind just absolutely blowing. Whoever created this expansion, which I'm pretty sure it is, whoever created this mod, man, you just you just knocked it out of the park. Okay, let's deal again. Let's do this again. Ooh! Ooh, I got an 18. I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double down. I'm being dumb. I'm gonna do it. Ugh. And I busted. 
because I I shouldn't have, doubling down takes a card. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I forgot about that. I read the instructions like 30 seconds ago. Let's play poorly. Okay, player hands 14. Uh, do I hit? Oh, look at that. That's a ship. Oh, I think I need to hit. I think I need to hit. Oh, and I busted. Deal again. Player hand. Oh, no, I definitely have to hit. I win 10. Ah, I mean, I'm, I'm still losing money. Still, still losing money. Player hand 17. I'm gonna stand. I get even, okay. Player hand 17 again, okay, I'm gonna stand. And I lost. Okay, okay, Blackjack, you suck. I'm out of here. All right, let's play some hoops. I don't know what that is. Wow, okay. Glad to have you with us, Commander. Of course you know that the entry fee for each round is set at 100 credits. Will you attempt to double your money? Um. Dot, 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 let's figure out what that means here. Oh, it's not letting me do that, okay. No, I changed my mind, or I accept. I'm gonna accept the charge. Okay, let's let's just let's just do it. Thank you for your bet. Police select the hoop of your choice. Left hoop, middle. Oh, it's three card Monty, or whatever that thing's called. Whatever that one is called. Uh, that that street game. I think it's three card Monty, but I mean they do it with the little cups and balls and stuff. Okay, let's do left hoop. Enough. Um, no, no, I, my luck is not that good. I'm not good enough with 33% chances. This sucks. Music was cool though. All right. Hoopy Hold'em. Do I? Do I still have? Do I have any money? I better not sell. I better not waste all my. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep myself to at, at most spend down to two thousand because I still want to buy stuff at another station. Oh, wow. I like that they don't have a market here because, again, that kind of encourages you to keep spending money because you're not, you know, like, oh, i got to save money for the market. Well, there's no market. It's like how there's no clocks anywhere in Las Vegas. All right. Hoopy Hold'em. Uh, two cards face up and the dealer gets two cards face down. Then five community cards are revealed. And if you get better five card hand from your cards and the community cards, you win. All right. All right. So... 52 card deck, pay the anti-bet and your two cards are revealed, pay double the anti-bet to continue or fold and lose the anti-bet. Three community cards are revealed and you choose to check or bet. Fourth community card is revealed and you choose to check or bet. The rest of the cards are revealed and the winner is determined. If the dealer wins, player loses the anti and the bets. If the player wins, anti pushes and the bets pay even money. If the player wins with a straight or better, the anti pays even money. If the player and the dealer hands tie, ante and bets push. Okay, so let's bet 10. The ante is 10, we bet 10. All right, so we have a king and a four of ships. We have a, we have a king of stations. I hope that's how this, these suits go, and a four of ships. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna play. Okay, so we have a three and a four and a six of ships. An ace and a, an ace of sons and a king. Oh, what? Uh, I I know poker. That I don't. This is right. There's nothing with the suits, right? The suits don't help me. So okay, I'm. Uh, hmm, hmm. Let's. Where's the check? No, I want to check. No, okay, I want to bet. Oh, this is gonna suck. All right, I'm gonna check. Player ace high, dealer ace high. I win. I win back my bet. It's a push. Okay. All right, let's do this one again. This doesn't suck as much as Hoopy. Okay. Jack and a queen of stations. Let's play. A king, a queen, and a jack of stations, and a four of stations, and a jack of planets? There, I don't have anything here, really. Like, I've got I've got three. I'm, 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 I've got three out of a straight. That's, that's not, that's not great. Uh, let's bet some, let's bet 10. Uh, all right, I'm going to check. I win 30. Three of a kind. Three of a kind, I guess three, three of a kind. Is that how that works? Is, no, oh, was, wait. Two, I had three jacks. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, see, I'm so bad at games. This is bad. 
Okay, one more time, one more time. And then, and then we'll move on because, yeah, like I said, this is quality entertainment here. Uh, okay, so we've got a queen and an ace. We've got two aces. Okay, two aces. That's a pair. I know how that works. Okay, let's uh, bet again. Mm, nah, I'm not going to do it with just a pair aces high. That's, that's not a uh, check. Okay, I, I, I think that was a push. Okay, fair enough. All right, yeah, good. I like it. Now, Smuggler's Run. Okay, roll two dice and guess... Wah huh? What? Roll two dice and guess whether, I think is what that's supposed to say, whether the sum of the next roll will be higher or lower than the previous. Okay. Okay. Roll two dice and guess whether the sum of the next roll will be higher or lower than the previous. And if I'm correct, 10, 8, 4, 6, I, okay, well, we'll see what happens. Bet 10. Okay, will the next roll be higher or lower than an 11? Oh, that's going to be lower. Higher or lower than a 7? Ah, 7 out of 2. Well, the problem is that right down the middle, 6.5 is the midpoint of, of, two, of 2d6. So statistically speaking, it's more likely to be lower than higher. So I'm going to just do lower. Bad luck. This time, better luck next time. Yeah, because that was a nine. Okay, let's play again. Let's bet 10. Oh, I see. So if the number of times I get it correct determines the payout. Okay, okay. That I, that chart wasn't making sense to me before. Higher or lower? It's going to be higher. Higher or lower? It's going to be lower. Higher or lower? It's going to be higher. Shit. Uh, it's gonna be higher. <gasps> it's gonna be lower. Uh, it's gonna be lower. I'm gonna cash out. I'm gonna cash out because that that's right smack in the middle, just below the midline. Don't want to risk it. This is like, do you want to be a millionaire? Well, I don't want to be a millionaire if it means I'm not gonna have the money to get out of this station. Cash out. Okay. Exit. Okay, that was fun. All right, that was cool. All right, next up. Finally, the last one here is video poker. Okay. Place your bet and deal. Okay, so. All right, so it's just going to do like a slot machine-y kind of thing, I think. Maybe? Is that how that works? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to do 10 credits. Oh, okay. Hold. Who, who do we want to what do we wanna take here? Okay, so we've got... Ace, ten, uh, j nine, nine, ten, jack. Uh, I'm going to hold the ace, I think. And maybe that's it. I I don't know. Jacks are better, you win. Okay, win ten credits. Okay, so I, I pushed. Okay, all right, all right, let's deal again. Let's do this again. Okay, what do I want to hold? Got a five and a six. I got a. I got okay. I got a. I've got a pair. I'm gonna hold four and five, and then draw. No win this time. Poop. Okay. Deal again. Hmm. I got a pair of threes. That's all I got. Let's hold that. Three of a kind. I won thirty. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So that's cool. All right. Wow, this bulletin board's got 15 in it. Um, let's see, do we have any news or anything like that? Do we have any reputation awards? I am a casual acquaintance to the Tinisla local government. <laughs> wow. I want to get to the uh, friends with benefits stage. That would be nice. All right, let's go to the embassy district. Oh, here we go. I could get citizenship. And I could get visa f visas for nearby stations. Which I don't, I don't need, I don't think. So uh, right now, I mean, I have to look, and I'll have to look at the maps to see which ones require uh, docking privileges, um, so that I don't have to like just jam myself into the mail slot. 
Uh, so that's fine. Um, but that is cool that there's an embassy district here. Okay, bulletin board. Um, let's see. What do we want here? We got we could transport medical supplies. Okay, so this was, I think, part of the one of those messages. One of the the news things was about Laza and the medical supplies over there, and they're going to pay a lot. If we do this, they're going to pay seventeen twenty-five. But let's take a look at this. Um, let's look at the destination. Oh no, that's way in the upper right-hand quadrant. I, I'm ne I'm not getting out there anytime soon. I need a better ship. I need I I I need I need to be cooler. I need to just be a lot cooler. Uh, Biorli. Oh, that was the place where we have to go next to it to find that weird planet. Um, recover stolen items. We would need both the broadcast comms, which we don't have, don't think. No, I don't think we do. And the navigational ray. And that was because we have to probably have to talk to somebody. Yeah, we're looking for a commander who can fly to be early by the quickest route, intercept the agent, and recover the high-level security codes. And we would need the broadcast comms to have a conversation. Uh, so we, we're not going to accept that. Black box recovery from uh, Renus. Um, where is that? Okay. That's p possible. All right. Black box recovery. We have gotten hold of data concerning a ship that was abandoned in Marinas after the commander was forced to flee in an escape capsule. We have to recover the black box from the ship as information of imperative strategic importance is contained in it. We believe the ship is broadcasting an intermittent signal that will show up on your space compass. We are in need of a captain to head to Arenas, find this derelict ship, and recover the black box so we can act on the information. I would bet that if I get a tow bar, I will be able to tow that ship as well and then sell it. I am going to do that. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get a tow bar on my way and see if that'll work. All Contact right. And this one's a deliver a data package. Where does this go to? Oh, right over there. Well, that's the other direction. Um, and it expires in two days, nine hours. Nah, okay, no, nah, that's fine. Uh, we've got to invest. We had to investigate an unknown beacon here in this sector. And this system, we've done that before. We've done one of those before. So I think I'm going to accept that one and do that okay, one. Accepted. There's an asteroid removal which we don't. We can't do because we don't have a laser. <laughs> I'm not donating any cargo. No, thank you. It's a charity. It probably gives us some kind of reputation somewhere, but I, no, no thanks. I don't. I don't have uh, time for that. So, first thing we're gonna have to do then is investigate that beacon, and then we're gonna have to go to that other system. So, if there's anything else to do here? Oh, this email system. So, I think this is just saying we confirmed. Yeah, we got the two. Uh, those two uh, missions. Docking counts is how many times I've docked at places. Isenor Tianisla, yeah, I did a lot of uh, a lot of back and forth over there. Okay, so let's. Oh, we can't save. That's right. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go out of here. All right. So now, do I? I'm a save scummer, and I'm feeling really itchy if I don't save. But I don't want to waste time going to the station when I have this mission to go to. So let's see if we can find it in the in the compass. There's the debug position 130. <laughs> I feel that's so funny. Oh, it's on the other side of the of the sun. Okay, that's uh, that's that's gonna be rough, but well we'll get there. I, I am not gonna stare straight into the sun. That's just that's just asking for trouble. And we are moving at a higher speed now. The Taurus to Sun Drive, I think, is what's doing this. I think that's giving us this boost. I could be wrong about that. There's we've got a couple of um, mechanics uh, expansions installed that may may do that. I know that we bought the Taurus to Sun Drive equipment which is showing up there as 3x, but I don't know 100% whether that's a, that's directly affiliated with the speed. We may be going six or seven times the speed that's listed there, 
Possibly not. I don't know. Ooh, the USS Williams. Okay. This light balls thing. I don't know why it's saving. I think that might be something to do with it being a beta. Uh, beta update. It used to save when I had the uh, released version. Uh, and there, there may be some glitch. There may be something going on there. I, I may need to ask on the forums uh, about that because it, it sucks that I'd have to keep switching the, that light balls uh, setting. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't suck. It's, it's not a real inconvenience, but I just I keep forgetting to do it. Uh, so I just need to remember it. I might have to do it every time I leave the station. I'm not 100% sure. But we are making our way over there. Mass locked. Ah, got mass locked. Don't like it. Okay, let's go. Ma no! What did we get mass locked by? Is it the sun? I don't know. I don't think so. We are getting closer to the sun, though. You can see the glare is building up. The, and the cabin temperature. Notice the cabin temperature down on the lower left uh, quadrant of the Vamana HUD. It was 23 degrees, uh, probably, presumably centigrade slash Celsius, and it's now up to 24, and that's because we're getting closer and closer to the sun. I imagine, and now, we're, now it looks like we're getting farther away because the glare level is going down. I imagine that there's probably some missions and other things that you can do close to the sun, and of course you can always fuel scoop, I think, close to the sun, but then your ta cabin temperature goes up and that could become a problem. Uh, I'm going to have to test it out at some point and see how the fuel scoop works. See if I can just, how close you get to the sun to get it to work, or if, if it requires any action or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I don't have a primed, uh, I don't have an equipment for that. So I probably don't have to do anything, but I don't know for sure. I've never fuel scooped. Never really had any need to because it seems to be faster to just spend a little bit of money by just going to a station. If I play in strict rules where I'm not going to enter a station that I don't have visa access to, maybe maybe I'll start fuel scooping a lot more, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, boy. I missed it. I missed it. I thought I was going to get mass locked, but I did not because it's a tiny little container. Let me slow down here. Oh, boy. I went too far. Oh, I really overshot that. No targets this There we go. Okay. So, there's something around here. Two cargo containers. Okay. So, let's see. How do I do this? Um, so, I gotta, I gotta prime my equipment to the telescope and then switch over to step forward in the target list. There we go. Where is that? It is, oh, it did not target. Oh, it's because of my weapons, I think. I could turn my weapon systems online even though I don't have any weapons because it does the sweeping thing. All right, equipment. There we go. There it is. Okay, so I don't have any cargo right now, so I should be able to pick this up. This will be fun. I, I, I do know for sure that I can't go super fast. I have to slow down. Don't know quite how slow, but. Let's go. Active. There we go. 21 grams of gemstones. Okay. Okay. Now we do the next one. See how fun this is? This is fun. Are we having fun? That's That sounded like sarcasm, but it wasn't meant to. We are, in fact, having Well, I'm having fun. The royal we are having fun. Cargo container. Scooped in 20 grams of gemstones. All right. Okay, so now if we look here at our manifest, we have We have not recovered the black box. Oh, no, we have. The mission to investigate the nav beacon is complete. Return to the main station. The black box thing was the other system we have to go to. So basically, I think that that's, this is what we're going to have to do when we get out there, just recover the black box. But there's probably also going to be a derelict ship out there where we might be able to tow and make some money. So that is, that is why I want to get a tow bar if I can. Uh, all right, let's go back to the station now. 
Or no, where do we have to go for that? Where do, where do we have to go for that? Return to the main station. Okay, main station. Yeah. All right, and then that is definitely on the other side of the planet. All right, so we're coming up on 52, 53 minutes uh, for this episode. Uh, so I don't want to go too much over an hour. Uh, so that means even though I will be making the next episode right away immediately after, because I do want to continue going to the con store and things like that, I'm going to call it once we land in the station and then just uh, continue on and, and make the next episode. Um, so we'll be able to get that done. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I'm not again. I'm not a professional YouTuber. This is this is not a thing I do to 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 get the the likes and the subscribe. And that's that's not my thing. I'm doing this for Ulit. My love for Ulit is what drives me. So um, I don't know what people prefer in terms of length of video, but I'm also not trying to really optimize for for viewers i'm not gonna make like 10 minute videos and make people watch 20 of them or whatever no i'm just gonna make them and if you don't want to watch them it's fine i don't mind um they will be there for people to go to if they have uh any interest in elite and that is what matters to me so that sounds a little snarky and dismissive but it's it's not meant to uh, what it really comes down to is just that this this is uh, I'm providing this as a service to people who want to experience this game, maybe learn whether or not they they, they want to play it, or uh, follow a playthrough that isn't trying to m maximize efficiency uh, and is interested in just sort of enjoying the ride, uh, because there is a lot to enjoy here in this in this game, as we saw, going to the casino and going to the repair facility and just doing the usual things that you would do, uh, just flying around in space. Um, the the immersion here is is decent. It's it, it's really good, uh, and it's just fun to be in. It's fun to be in the world. It's not fun to have so much fucking glare. Pardon my language. Um, but you know, you just live with it. Uh, we're gonna get that glare filter at some point. I, I just, I'm, this is starting to, starting to, to wear on me a little bit. Oh shoot! Uh, approaching the sun. Temperature monitoring is critical. Oh yeah, okay. It, it's not temperature is critical. Temperature monitoring is critical. Yes, I knew that. Um, cabin temperature is 25 degrees. It's gone up by two degrees since uh, from out from out in the cold of space. So. But we do need to get on the other side of this sun to get to the station, which is out by the planet. Oh. Oh, tourist drive. Oh, that's what it is. Tourist drive is limited. The, the, the tourist speed in booster is limited while our weapons are out, as it were. So there, now I can go faster. That's why it was taking so long. I couldn't figure. I was like, didn't want to say anything because I was feeling a little dumb that I was, it was like, why is it taking so long? Well, that was why. Okay, now we are going 8x. Okay. There's some ships and stations out there. So that's the planet. Oh boy, come on. Don't mass lock me, man. Don't tase me, bro. Alright. Can we go in now, please? Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, all right, here we go. There we go. Borders are starting to pop in. Oh, that's the bright mass lock border. Those those look better, I think. They're brighter. And of course, if you have the telescope and you don't like having those borders because they do they are HUD elements. They're not actually there. 
Uh, you can t just turn them off completely if you if you don't want that. I like having them uh, because it just adds some visual flair to the uh, to the uh, main main viewport. Um, it's it's functional information, um, and uh, and it you know it's it's cool. But you can turn those off if you don't want them active at all. They're not exactly like the uh, the uh, orbitals in Elite Dangerous. Uh, but uh, there's still people. Okay, there's a lot of ships out there. Look at those guys. They all have their own names. That one doesn't have a name. It's just Hard Boa. Hard Boa! Hard Boa, Mark II. Hard Boa. The Engineer in Limbo. Alright. Take a look at you and get permission. All right, we have permission to dock. Okay, slow down. There's a ship coming out, but he's probably not going to hit us or, or he's going in. I don't know. He's just sitting there. Or is he on the other side? He might be on the other side of the station. Yeah, he's probably one of those ships that was uh, floating around behind the station. Oh yeah, he's 3.7 kilometers away. Yeah, he's, he's not. He's not interfering with me at all. But I might be interfering with myself. I was uh, going to scrape the side of that like in Galaxy Quest. Alright, here we go. Back in here. We don't have anything to sell, right? Okay. Sleek brushed metal and smartly polished trim edges the landing pads. If they're not quite new, you wouldn't know it from the care that goes into maintenance here. A hint of ocean breeze from the custom air recycling system refreshes you as you pay the seven credit station fee. All right. Yeah, we don't have anything to sell here. Um, we still have to go to the con store, so we, we are going to do that next time in the next episode after I get a drink of water and stop the, uh, the recording and start it over again. Uh, and then maybe once we've done that, we're going to come back in here, get some machinery, um, get some luxuries and computers. Let's see, yeah. Uh, luxuries and computers, things like that, just so that we have something to sell on the, on the next bump in the journey. Because our next goal, over, well, in the next little bit, is to get up here to go and do the, uh, to finish up that mission. We have to go to that black box. So we're gonna do that. And uh, we will uh, catch you next time. See you in episode seven.